If you are sick and tired of hitting shots heavy, casting the club or flipping, causing those terrible shots, and you want to have a powerful, effortless release, all you need is a glove. Go and grab one right now. One of the biggest faults that plagues a lot of you, too lower body dominant or too upper body dominant. And some of that happens because we are trying to do too much, okay? The arms aren't working together with the body or we're trying to just work the arms or just the body. Nothing's really working in harmony. And some of that issue is when we swing back, we can get a little bit narrow here. And what happens is that's where casting comes from because as we have momentum, we are pushing the club out this way. And the very similar fault is gonna cause fat shots too. And actually, the flipping. But the other drill is gonna help that a little bit more. But what we're trying to accomplish here is create some width, create some structure, but time it so when we deliver the club back into the ball, everything is working efficiently. Okay, sounds pretty good. So all you do, to feel this sensation, okay? It's gonna stop you getting jammed in with your elbow. It's gonna really make you go, aha. And I want you to let me know if it does. The glove can slide up and down pretty easily. Here, we've just got the Velcro strap around it. What I'm gonna do is make a backswing, but I'm going to allow the hand to slide up towards the club head here, okay? And you can see that I've got a bit of stretch now. You can see that I've got a bit of stretch that is helping me create some width in my downswing. But do I want to keep that there? No, okay? I want to, as I move down, I'm going to let the glove slide into impact. So by the time I reach impact, the hands are pretty much together. And that's that sensation that we want to have here. It's really gonna help that sequence. It's gonna help a nice wide backswing and the delivery, okay? Practice that 20, 30 times to try and feel it. It's only gonna be a few minutes, but you do this for three minutes a day to have that sensation. Your swing is gonna slow down because you're not gonna be rushing from the top. Your sequence is gonna be spot on and you haven't really had to change anything. You're just awakening your body and your brain to think, okay, that's what it needs to feel like, okay? Now, we only get onto a more speedy release. This next one is about garnishing more effortless speed through an effective release. And this little glove can give you an audible and a sensation that is gonna give you some cues to say, okay, I am releasing the club in the most efficient place to give me the most amount of speed. Now, technically, we want the most speed to sort of be just before impact, but oftentimes when people try and create that speed, it happens way, way too early. So what I found a very simple way to have an effortless release is to think about that, to focus your attention on that release. That will give you more speed through the ball. The drill this time, instead of allowing the to hold it this way, we're just gonna take our normal grip, okay? Now, when you take your grip, you're gonna make sure that the glove is at the top end here. Why? Now, you don't want it too loose so it slides down on its own, okay? But it's more or less gonna stay up towards that grip. Now, we are trying to make sure our release and speed happens through the ball. And the objective to show that you've done that relatively efficiently is if the glove is gonna slide down the bottom here, okay? That's the cue that we're looking for, for it to happen about impact here. What you might find is if you try and hold on to lag, people think lag is like a huge help, it's not. If you try and hold on to lag here, that grip, that glove is not gonna fly down the grip. 
okay? That release isn't gonna happen. If you cast it too much, okay, you're, you might not even release the grip at all because it hasn't had that gradual movement to release, okay? So if released too early, it's either gonna hit the bottom or it's not going to really happen at all. So we take our setup. The glove is near the top. We're not actually hitting a ball here, but I'm gonna make some swings and notice where this is releasing. Is it hitting the bottom of the club head near the you know, ball impact or is it happening too early, okay? The goal we want is to have it through impact, okay? Feeling like those arms are lengthening. Trying to see we've got a pretty straight line from our arms here all the way through the club head. That's a really awesome feel to try and obtain this way, okay? You do that, you're gonna have effortless power. So practice that for a few minutes just to see where your release is happening. Combine it with the first drill to help the sequence, okay? Use those two together, you are gonna be in a wonderful spot and hopefully give you a new free-flowing sensation that is gonna be consistent.